It's called the other camera because it speaks against uh, a dominant representation of, of African people, which has really been taken by outsiders who have othered people in, in various forms. And um, there are millions of these photographs that are in existence. And most of them are outside of Africa um, in various institutions and first world galleries, galleries and museums. Very little is, is known about and has been understood about how Africans photograph themselves. Um, and while there has more recently been um, a move to show West African tradition of Malek Sedebe and Sado Keita, for, for, uh, for example, very little has, has been shown about the South, Southern African and the South African tradition. And this is an, an opportunity to um, you know, feed into that missing part of the vocabulary. The genesis of this project goes back to when I was teaching photography in, at the Open School in 1979. And I, my students, many of them were street photographers. And it just kindled an interest for me then. And then of course I became a photojournalist after that. Um, and it remained. And then when I became an archivist with a capital A, working at UCT, I decided to return to this project because I wanted to, I was particularly interested in how these archives remained and how they actually survived, and, or if they survived, and, and most importantly, um, where they were. There are not very many of these archives still in existence. And, you know, in the one instance, the Angus Gibson collection, um, that's of an archive that was actually um, destroyed. So they, they've, they're pretty rare. Uh, the Ingalima collection is another one that the family collect, kept, uh, you know, um, intact. So I, I don't believe there are many that are in existence. On one level, when you put a, an exhibition together, you need to make the work speak to uh, what's next to it. So there's narratives and sub-narratives, and you want to, you know, make it engaging. I was very con conscious of that when I put this exhibition together, of, of how to make it not just a record of our vernacular photography, but um, so that it speaks, you know, on a broader level to the art world, if you like. <laughs>